Hello guys, Mr. Man 312. I'm not exactly sure what to say right now. It's about it's two o'clock in the morning and I'm a little bit beat. Um I've been twenty for the past two hours. Um which some people would find kinda cool. Some people would find that remarkable. But me, well, I've never really felt like a teenager and I've well, I've certainly never, ever, 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 ever have ever acted like a silly kid. Really, nigga? We're back here in Kansas where everything is gray. <laughs> <laughs> What I mean to say is it's been a while I, and I know it's weird to think to see that even though it's slow which is absolutely fine with me but the channel is still slowly growing like every now and then some people click that button I mean despite my lack of a consistent schedule it's it's, it's kind of cool to see that people do like my do like my work um, and I do mean to do more been a little wrapped up with some stuff lately I did actually mean as kind of my reverse birthday gift to you guys to have a a new production put out today but um, some things delayed it. It will come out soon probably within the next week or so. I'm just waiting on one last voice to be turned in and we'll have that done. But um, and, and I, I, as a result I didn't really have to, and I thought I was gonna go through uh, my birthday thinking oh I want to do something but there is nothing to do. Well it turns out that on Thursday yesterday they finally 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 fixed a uh, certain feature that I've been waiting probably for the better part of a year to come back and uh, as a result I can kind of show you some stuff that also will be implemented in the future. Now some of you guys may remember my pretty well received uh, Mac Cannon mod that I turned out ages ago with the help of Razertron. And it's actually been quite a while since I've used them, and I thought I'd give them a look. -see. As you can see, all the all, all the guns use a pretty. They do pretty, basically all use the same model, which does look pretty cool, and people did like the interior look. But I mean, they're all basically the same gun, um, with the same gun model with different stats. Well, hopefully, we'll be fixing that in the future. Here, I'll zoom back a bit. Because you may know, you may not know that I actually made these original mod models by building them in the game and exporting them as OBJs with the model exportation feature to be used as the base model. Well, for the past six to nine months, that feature was completely broken. And as of today, it is back. And I thought, well, since I had nothing else planned, I can give you guys a sneak peek of what of the new Mac Cannon models. This is what the uh, model for the frigate gun is going to look like. I did also I did also forget to mention that each gun will have a unique model, not only in size and stat, but in stats. Like every gun will have a different size. They'll eventually have different material requirements, different power requirements, but most importantly, they all are unique. Now, obviously, each gun will have its name on either side. It'll say frigate right there and obviously UNSC because UNSC got gotta have their name on everything to build and look down the barrel it I believe if I recall I it's been a while since I made these and uh, they will be changed a bit in the final versions but we have the uh, obviously the magnetic coils that would drive the gun in theory each of these will be different in the gun as well like the barrels eat the barrel down to the barrel it'll be different and of course here at the back, we have um, the round sitting in its cradle, which I think is just kind of a cool thing. I mean, I want each of these guns to actually be unique. And obviously, this would be institute uh, conveyor, because I remember with the original models, like if we go over here, the original gun ended here, and Razortron had to add like a basically a conveyor block here. Now, obviously, the new ones won't have the ones on all 
five sides. They'll just have one in the back, which makes most sense to me. I mean, like you look at artillery today, you load the gun, the, the round into the back. It just makes a bit more sense if you ask me. Given that these guns, and also all these guns will be much, much larger than their current versions. Um, this one, I believe the frigate gun will be, I want to say 37 uh, small blocks long. Small, it'll be 37 small grid by 3 by 3. So it'll be a pretty hefty gun instead of this. Let's see how big is the, is it right now? Here's the original. It is... Only 12 by 1 by 1. <laughs> uh, how cute. You make me laugh. This is the model that will be used for the Destroyer Mac Cannon that, as you can see, is significantly longer. And it will be toned down a little bit. Um, the actual models, I'll be... Sh I, I would show you the current models in, like, a 3D Builder, which is what Windows uses to view 3D objects and make stuff. But, um... I don't have a screen capture that works outside of games. I use fraps, so uh, maybe I'll figure out how to show you guys those later. But again, as you can see, it's longer. Its exterior looks different. You see, like those markings are different, and of course, it has its respective name on either side. And if we look down the barrel, uh, I didn't color the interiors, but you see, there's more stacks of make-believe coils, and obviously, the gun's longer which would give it, like, more coils means more, more power behind the round. Now here, you'll see, is the standard Mac Cannon. Now you, now you may notice it's actually a lot stubbier than the original. Well, the originals are actually made to be 3x3 three by, three by a certain length. This is 1x1 one by, one by, I believe, 20. Then I came up with an interesting way to build these. Like, you'll see here, uh, like at the back, block is 11 by 11 so these these build these are built with sort of a scale in mind and then obviously you could apply that to the built block and obviously different markings on the outside this gun will actually it, it will end up being larger than either of the uh, escort cannons now you see here different kind different again different looking coils um, just made to look more powerful. They may not see that be a lot of them, but they're much bigger, more powerful coils. And, uh, the round model will look the same for all, for the frigate, destroyer, and standard cannon. Uh, because these are the basic guns. Like, these are the most commonly used UNSC cannons on cruisers, destroyers, and frigates. Now here is the modified cannon, which, if, for those who don't know, it's basically like a standard cannon, but it's the same. It's the same size, but it's modified for slightly less damage, but a much higher fire rate. And unlike the the one I have now, the new one will f actually be like in the lore, be able to fire three rounds in succession before reloading. Um, each round will be less powerful than that of a standard, but overall, it'll be even more powerful than a double mac the barrel. The muzzle looks a little different, um, and obviously we have these um, these energy recyclers, I believe, in here. And go to the back. You'll notice the bullet looks different, and obviously it has its name on it. I really did try hard to make these guns look unique, with, and I think the model looks pretty decent. If you ask me, like they do share the share the general same general shape and. You could mount them on the outside of something without them looking silly, like like if we run over the standard gun we already have. Those just look ugly if they're not um, in, like inside of a ship, not mounted as a spinal weapon. You could stick these on the outside, and it would still look kind of cool. Like you could stick these like a, as a tri-barrel battleship, and it's still cool. I think I don't know. That's you guys. Let me know. Now this will be the model for the prototype cannon, which is the, used in the Artemis class. I used to call, it used to be called the Orion, but the Artemis class battle cruiser, which is a sniper ship optimized for high damage at long range. And you see here, obviously, different coils, a lot of coils, and a different looking bullet. Um, all right, and um, 
and all these guns are made kind of to scale based on how they would fit inside a ship like say because I built because obviously I build everything at 1 to 10 scale and say a Mac gun is one third the length of a ship obviously the, this thing is one third the length of a one tenth um, Artemis class. Here we go, the Siege Mac type. Um, this is what I would mount in like Phoenix class assault ships. Um, it doesn't fire like a penetrating round, but it would fire like a high speed explosive round with a really large AoE. It would basically be like a hyper velocity nuke. Um, I believe it uses the same internals as the prototype, at least in terms of a barrel. And there we go. Looks kind of more like a nuclear bomb than a huge uh, armor-piercing slug. I believe it's also the same size as the prototype Mac as well. I believe it'll be 25 to 30 blocks long. I cannot remember. I'll include a link to a Google Doc, which has uh, the plans for all the template lengths. And last but not least, we have the model for the Super Mac. This thing is going to be, I believe, 30 blocks long one block wide and three high and I hopefully can get to where they'll you'll be able to put a camera on the end of this and this gun will obviously have the highest power requirement but it's insane output uh, different coils obviously and at the back we have modeled after my famed sledgehammer round if you guys have seen that video just a huge trash can shaped just solid hunk of uranium or tungsten just sheer mass now over here I have some uh, preview obviously also of the actual because you, you'll also be able to craft and spawn the ammunition for the guns and that model will be significantly different and next each round I believe I have the in the barrel in, in the weapon variant and then the one you can spawn obviously the scale will be different I made the long the spawnable item models larger so I can make them more detailed. So let's see, here we have the Siege Mac, this is what it looks like when it's in the weapon, and this is what it looks like when you can spawn it in as an item. The Super Mac round, let's see, I can't find, I don't know where I put the Super Mac version. Uh, the prototype Mac Cannon round, the modified Mac cannon round and the standard this is what the uh, friggin the this this the rounds used for the frigate and the destroyer and the standard cannon will be different and be different sizes in the different materials but they'll all look like this thought I'd also give you guys a quick preview of some other weapons I'd like to bring in the future um this and these are based on what little what few weapons, big Covenant ship weapons you can find. This is what the uh, energy projector kind of looks like on the bottom of like a CAS class assault carrier. And it will, this is this is the glassy beam. Um, and I'm a little confused because at some point I do want to uh, make plasma torpedoes, but I'm not sure what the launcher would look like. So I have two choices. If it's a turret, it will look like this. This is based on the tyrant anti-air cannon seen in Halo Reach and this is just some silo uh, that I came up with I don't know it looks kind of goofy I think and these I'm not exactly sure what this is going to be I think it's going to be like a point defense pulse laser you see these in one of the I think it's in a Halo waypoint um, you see a bunch of these sticking out of a CCS class battlecruiser obviously I would like to show you guys the end models um as like when they come out when they're able to be used and hopefully when I can get some modders to help me make these but I obviously have some serious plans and I would like to like for making a complete Halo uh, Halo theme mod pack with Matt cannons guided archer missiles guided plasma torpedoes energy projector laser beams forerunner weaponry you name it and hopefully we the dream engineers here on space engineers can help help me make it happen um yeah so f like i said you can expect a horror production sooner than later like comment subscribe let me know below what you would like to see in space engineers and i'll see you guys next time peace out guys thank you for sticking around